five uh okay we're going to look at compressor so uh, uh this is power machine n5 so here's an example of a question it says uh, 18.5 uh, cubic meters per cubic uh, meters per minute of uh, um, air is supplied uh, to a single a stage a double a stroke air compressor at a pressure of 110 kilopascal and a temperature of uh, 22 degrees Celsius. So the compressor runs uh, at, a, at a speed of uh, 400 radians per minute and uh, delivers air at a pressure of um, okay delivers air at a pressure of one of 820 kilometers uh, uh, kilopascal so and uh, the compressor uh, takes uh, compressor uh, takes a place according to a law of a p of v to the power 1.35 uh, uh, is equals to constant and then uh, and the, the clearance volume is the seven percent of uh, the stroke volume the, then the com the instant of A is a 0 0.287 uh, kilometers uh, kilojoules per kg Kelvin. So, okay, yeah, l let's write uh, our data down. Here we have the uh, volume um, uh, the A delivered. Ne? So we say, okay, we have a volume uh, delivered. So they said a V d is equals to the volume delivered is equals to 18 18.5 uh, uh, cubic meters per minute right okay and then uh, now the said uh, again uh, this is a, a double uh, stroke uh, a compressor yeah? So if it's a double air compressor, that means the numbers of circle is equal to the numbers, ne? number of circle is equal to two. And they say the, 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 the compressor, okay, they say the double stroke air compressor at a pressure of, um, no, so that means a P1. Ne? Let's go to our diagram here. They say the a P1 is equal to uh, yeah, our pressure one is equals to 120 uh, kilopascal, 110, sorry, 110 kilopascal, and then at a pressure of, uh, they said, at a pressure of 22 degrees Celsius. And the, uh, and they said that the, uh, the, the compressor run at a speed of 410, uh, okay, at the speed of 400 radians per minute, that means our speed n, né? our revolution, that means it's 400 uh, radians per minute. And uh, the, and it delivers an air at a pressure of, uh, so uh, it delivers air, that means it is uh, the pressure number two is 820 kilopascal. And uh, the okay, the law, uh, the compression take uh, place at the law, okay, according to a law of PV. So our compression, yeah, and this PV is 1.35 equals to constant. Okay, and then uh, uh, they said our clearance volume, yeah? the clearance volume, which is volume number three, they say it's a seven point, okay, it's a seven percent of the stroke length. That means seven divided by uh, by 100, it gives us a 0 0.07 of the swept volume. That means 0 0.7, 0 0.07 times v s okay so that means that our clearance volume is equals to seven percent of the swept volume so that means to find seven percent of the swept volume going to multiply the swept volume by 0 0.07 uh, this is seven percent of the swept volume so that one is give us our clearance volume so here our clearance volume uh, let me see here, our clearance volume here V3 is 0 0.07 Vs. All right. And then uh, our question now. Uh, the question they said calculate 
Um, okay, the, the say calculated the following uh, question uh, 3.1.3. 3 .3, the say calculated the stroke volume. Né? So uh, we know that when we're talking about the stroke volume, the stroke volume, we are talking about the swept volume. Right. So uh, if we are calculating our swept volume, we said uh, okay our stroke volume is our swept volume so swept volume is equals to uh, volume number one minus volume number three which is our clearance volume we know what um, the year from year to year is our swept volume right so to find our swept volume is volume number one minus our clearance volume this is uh, our clearance volume and then it gives us uh, our swept volume so and then here we have a challenge now that means we want this volume but we don't have a v1 right but we know what uh, V3 is equal to 0 0.07 uh, of the swept volume. So we can say that yeah, uh, V1 is equal to V3 plus Vs. Né? So uh, this, okay, we make V1 a subject of the formula. Yeah. So that means the V1 is equal to the clearance volume plus a swept volume and then we know that our clearance volume is seven percent of the swept volume that means it's 0 0.07 vs plus vs right now we are uh, swept volume and swept volume it becomes our light terms né? so that give us v1 will be equals to v v1 will be equals to 1.07 of the swept volume then this one will take it as a, a one which because it has a constant number of one plus 0 0.07 it gives us a 1.07 of the swept volume so this one is a volume number one right but uh, remember our question it looking is looking for the swept volume which is our currency volume right so and then to find uh, okay again this one it gives us our swept volume right and then we have uh, the formula to calculate our effective volume the effective volume which is our volume delivered right we said is v1 minus v4 is equal to uh, the volume delivered divided by the, our revolution which is our speed the speed of the compressor multiplied by the number of seconds so this is a number of seconds that means v1 minus v4 is equal to our re, our volume delivered is 18 is 8 18.5 divided by uh, 500 400 which is our speed multiplied by um, multiplied by our um, the number of seconds which is a double acting uh, uh, compressor so we multiply it by two if it's a single acting compressor we're going to multiply it by one right so then now uh, to find our effective volume we said uh, okay we're going to punch our calculator 18.5 uh, divided by 400 times 2 then it gives us uh, that means v1 minus v4 it will give us zero uh it's a zero point zero two three one okay so uh, this is a uh, the diagram for a compressor right so when we want to calculate volume number four here yeah, this is volume number four that means now we are okay we started from volume number one right volume number one we compress it to volume number two and then we compress it again to volume number three then from volume number three we expand to volume number four right so when we compress we uh when we compress uh, uh, th this volume number one that means that we expand our volume right we increase the the pressure right so when we increase the pressure from volume number one to volume number two that means that we increase the pressure by 820
Okay, so then uh, to calculate uh, volume number four, that means we have to expand from volume number three to volume number four, right? Uh, we're going to use the formula, uh, let's say, then, okay, we have um, the pressures here, and then we have our volume. So, therefore, we're going to use a formula that has the pre... The for okay, we said uh, volume, uh, volume number one, V, uh, V3, V... Okay, P3, V3 is equal to... Uh, okay, to the power N is equal to... Uh, P4 V4 to the power N right we want V4 now so to find a V4 that means we have a P3 over P4 is equals to uh, V4 over V3 to the power 3 okay and then this one will uh, give us uh, so and then the same yeah yeah okay then uh yeah to find v4 that means we're going to have uh p3 over v4 to the power one over n multiplied by v3 would give us v4 right so then uh, to calculate v4 now we said v4 is equal to uh, pre volume number three multiplied by pressure number three over pressure number four to the power one over um, okay so then our clearance this is our clearance volume we said our clearance volume is 0 0.07 of the swept volume right okay and then uh, now our pressure pressure number three which is uh, our the delivering pressure which is 810 20 divided by pressure number four is our initial uh, is our initial pressure which is one one ten to the power one over they said uh, our law of compression is uh, to the power one point uh, three five then here we will get our volume number four so okay let's calculate the volume number four using our calculator uh, then uh, volume number four we said 0 0.07 multiplied by our pressure which is 820 divided by 110 uh, to the power of, uh, to the power 1 1 over 1.35 it will give us um, 0 0.30 okay let's say 0 1 uh, volume of the septi volume right so now we have a volume number a three okay so uh, when we have volume number three the volume number four right then we can substitute volume number four from uh, our from this equation now yeah so therefore that means uh, volume we said okay let's write it there volume number four uh, is equal to zero point three one of the swept volume this is volume number four and uh, remember we said volume number one volume number one is a one point uh, zero seven of the swept volume right then now we can uh, substitute here we have volume number one which is one point zero seven of the swept volume minus a uh, zero point uh, three one of the swept volume is equal to zero point zero two three one right then uh, this is a volume number one yeah let's recap it from uh, our from uh, from our original volume we said a swept volume is volume number one minus our clearance volume then we have the clearance volume the clearance volume we said is a zero point zero seven times the swept volume which is seven percent of the swept volume then it gives us um our initial okay our initial volume which is a zero point zero seven of the swept volume plus the swept volume is give us one point zero seven of the swept volume then uh, our calculated volume number four 
volume number four using the the expansion from here the expansion from the diagram which is volume number three to volume number four we expanded from volume number four to volume from volume number three to volume number four then uh, this one becomes our initial uh, volume and then this becomes our final volume because we are expanding from the high pressure to the low pressure that means we could expand from volume number three to volume number four then when expand from volume number three to volume number four we find um volume number four would be equal to zero point uh three one of the swept volume and then uh, we substituted here we calculated uh the um using the the formula to calculate our effective volume so we said effective volume is volume number one minus volume number uh four which is equal to the delivering volume the volume delivered divided by the uh, speed of the compressor multiplied by the number of compressors. Okay, then uh, volume number one is equals. Okay, then uh, our effective volume is equals to volume number uh, volume the volume delivered divided by the number of speed times uh, the number of second. Then it gives us a zero point uh, zero two uh, seven. Okay, give us a zero point uh, zero two three one. Then we substitute volume number one with our initial volume. Okay, volume number one is just one point. 07 of the swept volume and then we substitute volume number four which is a uh, zero point uh, three of zero point um, thirty one right and then uh, we have yeah okay then we use our calculator from here and then we're going to say the one point uh, zero seven divided minus by zero point one three and then it will give us a uh, zero, zero point seven uh, six, yeah, zero point seven six of the swept volume will be equal to zero point uh, zero two three one. Then uh, the swept volume will be equal to zero point uh, zero point zero two three one divided by our answer. Therefore, our sub volume is zero point uh, three zero four uh, cubic uh, meters. So this one is our sub volume. Right. Yeah, our sub volume. Yeah, our sub volume is close to zero point three zero four.